feel, assuming you come back, uh, to be able to get back out there? Yeah, I feel good. Um, you know, I'll probably test it a little bit tonight, warm up, see if I it responds well, and then you know potentially give it a go. We looked at uh, we looked at the next week uh, before break. Knew that I you know definitely wanted to get out there and play. So um, if tonight's tonight, so be it. Could be tomorrow. Could be the next two games before that. But uh, you know I definitely want to be out there with these guys, especially during the break, because you know then we have those you know six seven days where I'm gonna have to rev it back up again. And, try to get out there but you know, it's definitely going to be a minute restriction it's been you know, a few months since I've been out there playing but um, and more than anything it'd be great to, to, to blow it out so I'm hoping my foot responds well just you know we won't know until later today. Would this return be any different than others that you've had? I don't think I've ever um, had this amount of time that I've missed consecutively so I think in, in that way it's a little bit different plus um, you know when I did miss you know, a lot of time, I believe it was with my hand, uh, I was able to come back and, and, you know, practice quite a bit because we had such a young team, but with this team, we've had nagging injuries, so I haven't been able to really blow it out, be on, be in five and five, four and four, three on three type situation. So there's going to be, you know, some, a little bit of finding a rhythm, uh, a lot of, uh, uh, you know, getting gas and finding my wind and, you know, having the oxygen after the first time out, whatever that may be. So, you know, for me, it's just getting out there with the guys and finally, uh, you know, get myself going on that. What have you liked about your time in practice building on uh, getting better? Uh, more than anything, just, uh, you know, you kind of get back to why you, you love the game so much. You're around, you're around the guys more, you're out there on the floor, you're putting in the work. And I think that's, that's the best part of the game. I mean, you know, we go out there and we get paid to, to do what we do when we play these, uh, you know, actually out there competing in the games. but. There's a lot of stuff behind the scenes and a lot of that goes into it that, that, that makes it fun. The chase is always a great part of it. Is your, I mean, you're talking about you want to make sure your toe responds today. Yeah. Have you had any anything where it didn't respond? Like, is there a reason to suspect uh, that you had it? Yeah, I mean, there's been there's been some soreness where I've, I, I've taken, uh, you know, games a little bit lighter. But other than that, I, I, I feel pretty dang good. So, um, barring any sort of, uh, you know, setback, you know, there's times where it feels, you know, great. And there's, you know, a little bit of time where I'm like, okay, I need to, you know, maybe pull it back, ice it down and, and see how I feel. So tonight will be a, a call, see how I, how I respond, if I can get really warm and feel good. And, you know, we'll go from there. What made this one so tough? <laughs> uh, just because we had such, uh, I think, high hopes uh, for the beginning of the year. We wanted to really uh, trend in the right direction take big steps and um, you know it's just tough because I you know it was really the first preseason game I uh, didn't really don't know really don't really know when it happened but it just was nagging me for a few weeks and was only able to play four games and um, you know I really thought that this year would go different but you know and now we just need to look ahead well, can you what was the actual injury I mean I don't know yeah we got Dr. Rosnick over there I, yeah it's just I don't know the actual injury, but it wasn't my big toe. Well, you guys are, it was my third third toe on the left side, so get that one right. This team trying to continue to build on good habits. What have you seen in your absence that you're excited to get back and help contribute? I think LD just has, has these guys playing so hard. I think that's, uh, you know, I think, you know, there's games that we're, we're into. We just can't sustain it for 48 minutes, so I'm hoping that you know, when T-Top comes back, Larry continues to, to, to trend in the right direction with his, you know, recovery and getting his legs underneath him, uh, myself included, uh, you know, that we'll be able to help those guys out. So for 48 minutes, we'll be able to compete and they'll be able to, uh, to win a number of games. So, um, you know, I think the end of February, March, April, that's going to be a, uh, you know, a fun time if we have everybody healthy. But it's been, you know, seldom seen throughout this year. It's been tough for us. When did you? How intrigued are you to see you? Uh, it would be great. Uh, you know, obviously, there's been a lot of responsibility uh, in his hands, and he's had to play considerable minutes early on, which can be good and bad. I think for me, I had to do the same thing, and while it helped my game and it, it sped it up, it also you know, may have developed into uh, you know, some bad habits, and a lot of times I had to fail in order to get better. But I've seen a lot of, a lot of bright spots in him. Uh, you know, the same thing with Jetty in his second year. Big Z's got 
a number of minutes now where he's been able to be effective. So I think for, for the younger guys, in a lot of ways, it's been, it's been good. It's just never easy. You can just never want to get to a point where these, these losses add up and you, you, you start accepting losing. So, um, you know, just try to uh, you know, keep getting that into their head. But, um, you know, all those guys that I mentioned are, are, are workers as well as a number of guys on this team. All right, thanks, guys.